Last month we saw some RPG titles coming to new platforms as well as the cyberpunk action RPG The Ascent taking our top spot. On to this month get ready to embark on a journey of tidy proportions in terms of multiplayer online as well as a turn-based title where conspiracies and sabotage are all part of this fantasy kingdom. We also have a new Age of Exploration title making its way to release this month. Without further ado, let's get into the month of August 2021. Honourable mention, Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. The new addition for the action adventure The Ghost of Tsushima is heading our way this August. The director's cut offers a new addition for PS4 and PS5, adding a whole new chapter to Jin's story. Ghost of Tsushima is our honourable mention as it includes some great RPG elements. The new chapter focuses on Iki Island, which stays close to history as this island was also invaded during this time period. This time Jin will go investigate rumours surrounding the island that the Mongols are situated there but soon is caught up in events that are deeply personal and forces him to relive memories from his traumatic past. This edition adds a whole new story, new characters, new location of Iki Island to explore, new armor for Jin and his horse, new minigames, new techniques, new enemy types, and much more. There will also be new animals to pet as well. Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut will be releasing on PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 on August 20th. At number 5, King's Bounty 2. King's Bounty 2, the tactical turn-based title, is the long-awaited sequel to the King's Bounty franchise. Players will explore the kingdom of Nostria where darkness has descended. Conspiracies, sabotage, and necromancy are all present, but maybe a savior can help fight back and once again restore peace to the land. The game offers tactical turn-based battles to offer players a truly immersive RPG experience. Players will need to weigh their decisions as each will have an impact, whether it's leading an army into battle against unliving horrors or building relationships with local town folk. Bounty 2 will mix realism and fantasy, providing a compelling story, memorable characters and moral decisions. What's different from the first title is King's Bounty 2 will take place on a three-dimensional battlefield with an open world setting, adding a sense of fluidity between combat and exploration. The way armies are set up has also changed with unit limits, encouraging players to alter their army base to match the task at hand. King's Bounty 2 will release on August 24th for PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and Switch. At number 4, Book of Travels. Get ready to set off on an adventure of a different kind in Book of Travels, built for wayfinders and wanderers. In the world of Braided Shore, players are free to travel and experience roleplay without the restraints of linear missions. Described as a tiny multiplayer online RPG or TMORPG if you will, Book of Travels is an online RPG which lets you travel a world where you only come across a small number of players on each server. This adds to the immersive feel, providing a new kind of experience in a game that won't hold your hand. What is also unique about Book of Travels is its overall aesthetic inspired by classic RPGs with storybook illustrations that come to life. Its fairy tale world provides serene settings with an option to survive on your own or with friends. Players will have a choice of unlocking and mastering 300 plus abilities, magical skills and passives. Gain experience in your own way, whether it be through exploring, being courteous, gathering or trading. While battles can be rewarding, you might learn more in defeat than in victory. Book of Travels comes to Steam Early Access on August 30th. At number 3, Monster Harvest. Capturing monsters? That's so last season. Ever wanted a game where you can grow your own monsters? Well, Monster Harvest delivers just that. If you're a fan of titles such as Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon, we think you might like this one. Set in the world of Planimal, you're tasked with the job to save Planimal Plant from the Evil Slime Co. Inheriting your uncle's farm, you decide to trade in your dreary life in the city to get back to nature and take over the farm. There is one slight twist, this is no ordinary farm, as what you cultivate are creatures that are grown right on your land. Not only does it combine an RPG farming sim with combat, but growing your very own monsters to fight in turn-based battles. Monster Harvest gets players to plant crops to grow strange slimes, and depending on the season, crops will mutate into different monsters with 72 varieties available. Monster Harvest releases on August 19th on PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. At number 2, Black Geyser, Curries of Darkness. Next on our list is the CRPG Black Geyser, Curries of Darkness. In this dark fantasy, explore a land plagued with war, pestilence, and mysterious abductions. On a quest to uncover the hidden legacy of your birth, you will recruit powerful allies. Whether you use sorcery, stealth, or a silver tongue, or playing brute force to achieve your goals is up to you. Black Geyser is inspired by titles such as Baldur's Gate and Icewind Dale. It features challenging real-time tactical combat with pause. 
players can uncover its deep lore and get to know its memorable companions all wrapped up in a fantasy world. Choose from 5 playable races to create your character and from 13 unique classes from 4 class groups which include Priest, Outlaw, Warrior and Wizard. You can also customise your party with a range of weapons, armors, and items. Black Geyser Couriers of Darkness releases on August 26 on PC. At number 1, New World. Taking our top spot this month is Amazon's MMORPG New World. This title is all about the age of exploration as players attempt to colonize Artinum, a mysterious island. Arriving shipwrecked upon the supernatural island, it's up to you to forge a new destiny. This MMO has massive battles where up to 100 players can join, taking combat to the field. Join companies, build strongholds, or go it alone in solo. There's also a crafting system which relies on players gathering resources such as wood and flint to craft tools, armor, and more. Content includes PvE, 5 player instance activities called Expeditions, and PvP content such as 20 vs 20 and Outpost Rush. Each dungeon takes between 3 to 5 players to complete, encouraging players to group up together and use teamwork. This includes solving puzzles and defeating menacing beasts. Ranged combat includes bows and muskets, and also adds magic components as the game mixes wizardry for some remarkable spell effects. The combat system is in real time and will require you to become skilled in your weapon choice. If you've had experience with games such as Dark Souls, you'll feel right at home with combat in New World. New World will launch on PC on August 31st. That's a wrap for the top RPGs of August. Did I miss your favourite August release? What games are you most looking forward to this year? Please let us know in the comments below.